So I am here at Beatty American, uh, the shop that I was telling you about where I bought the bathroom shelf and uh, another item that I'm going to be using. And so I uh, just wanted to give you a look. Um, let's see. Here it is. It's an awesome store. They have a nice outdoor section, which is kind of closed right now, but they have a lot of really great stuff out there. And today I ended up finding something that I'm really excited about. And it is this window. <laughs> and I was looking for something for the apron of the front porch. I'm having the porch uh, rebuilt because it's uh, it's in um, it was in really bad condition, so I'm having that rebuilt. And I was looking for something interesting to use for the apron, and um, I found this window. So I I never seen glass used in a porch apron, but I think it'll be okay because of how the porch is situated. I don't think anyone's really going to be um, likely to break it. Uh, anyway, I just fell in love with the idea and I talked to the carpenter and he's okay with it. So I am super excited. And I also got this little table, which I'm also really excited about. Little tiny, tiny table. So, um, I am just really, really so happy about what I found here today. And uh, I just wanted to walk you through the shop just a little bit so you can see um, what it's about and why I love it so much. So here in the front, we've got like a lot of um, reclaimed wood pieces. There's some doors here. And oh, here's the mate to that window that I bought. And just to give you a little idea about the shop, it's so awesome. I love it here. I always find something that I want to buy. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a little tour. And I said I would show you where I got oops, um, the shelf and the other uh, the barn door that I'm using for the kitchen so anyway that was it and I'm sure I'll be back here so um, thanks so much and see you next time so the window that I bought right as it was sitting on the sidewalk um, a pane fell out so um, let's see if we can turn around here was just taped in so anyway I knew I was gonna have to do a lot of work to this window but uh, oh my gosh uh, I'm really excited about it so uh, I can't wait to get to work on it right here there is a chunk missing and um, I'm just gonna fashion a little piece uh, and um, I'll show you how I do that also glazing in, it'll have a nice clean surface to uh, adhere to. 
So what I'm going to do before I glaze the windows is I'm going to use these glazier's points um, to hold the pane in really well. And basically what you do with these is find a point where I don't already have, so I don't have any glazing left in there. Just um, use like a cutting knife, something to push those into the wood. And those will help hold your panes in place. And um, looks like for this old window they had um, you know nails uh, holding each pane into place but um, I'm certainly not <laughs> I am not going to take a chance on trying to hammer a nail <laughs> into this and I have glazes point so I'll just use these uh, you know I mean I'm not a pro I'm just doing what seems like the best way <laughs> I'm sure somebody's going to tell me that I'm doing this wrong, but, um, oh well, not their window. So. Alright, so this seems like it's going to work. i um, just going to keep going with this, and then I'll come back with the blazing. So now I'm going to put in the pane that fell out. Uh, on the sidewalk at the store, so that'll be the last one, and then I'll be ready for the glazing. And I guess I've been putting these points, um, like one per side on the shorter side, then on the longer sides I've been spacing out uh, two. just about finished and it took a really long time to do it um, but I just wanted to show you uh, the technique that seemed to work the best for me which is just getting a little bit on the putty knife and just kind of going like this again um, we're gonna have to uh, play around with it and use your finger and everything else to smooth it or maybe you might have to do some rolls too or whatever but um, this technique in the end seemed like it was kind of you know the most efficient um, yeah so this is basically done um, I'm gonna let this cure uh, for a week or so, then um, I'm going to come back and sand it, um, prime this um, glazing with some uh, oil-based primer, and then come back and paint the whole thing um, with the latex paint. So um, it took a really long time just to get this part done, but uh, I think it's going to be well worth it. I'm really excited to see how it turns out in the porch. Um, like I said, I have never uh, seen a window like this used in a porch apron. So I am really excited to see um, you know, how it comes out. So today I'm gonna sand down the window that I got to go in the porch apron. Um, you'll remember that I put in the glazing last time and uh, it's still not cured, um, but it's been 
close to two weeks, so I'm just going to go ahead and sand it and paint it. Um, so I'm using uh, 220 grit sandpaper because it's pretty much ready to go. It's, I don't think it's going to take too much sanding, so um, I'm just going to start with the 220. sure that the paint, you know, is pretty well, you know, that you've gotten all the flaky paint off because, you know, that's just going to flake off as soon as, uh, you know, it gets out into the elements. So, um, this, in terms of sanding and getting the paint off, is just about ready to go. Um, but there are some gaps in here, and um, I think I mentioned before that there was a piece missing here that I'm going to have to fashion something um, to go in here to fill this in. So um, I'm going to mix up the putty uh, now and fill in a few of these gaps, and um, then just I'll show you how I make this piece to, to fit in here. No, I mean, there's no, like, 
real procedure for doing this, but um, just find a size that fit in there well. And What I do want to say about this water putty is that it does dry really hard and um, if you're using it in an area where you're not really going to be able to get in there um, with a sander to smooth it out, you want to try to make it um, as smooth as you can. Um, when you first put it in because it, it's gonna it's pretty hard it's hard to just get in there with like a, a sanding sponge or something and sand it so this so I don't know if you can how well you can see but um, just wanted to zoom in a little bit and you can see that I mean it's not perfect but it's um, once it's sanded and painted it's going to work well. So I want to add a little more right here. So I just... Uh, wet the putty down a little bit to make it stick better. And like I said, that's what I really love about this product. You know, you have so much more control over the consistency. And I didn't mention that it's super cheap. That giant container, um, I don't know if you can see here, this giant container was less than, I think it was less than $8. <laughs> um, a small container, which is comparable to the, um, you know, what you get when you buy the wood putty, you know, it comes in like, you know, pretty small container tube or something, um, is like $2. <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, You can't beat that. So. Alright, so this looks pretty good. I am just going to let it harden and that won't take long. Then I'm going to come back and um, sand everything and um, prime and paint. And I already put a coat of oil-based primer on this and um, before I go for the finished coat, um, I'm just going to do a little sanding. to knock off any uh, bad spots. And I'm going to start with the back side of this, or the part that's going to be um, underneath the porch. So um, I'm just going to do a couple of coats of the finished coat. And like I said, this is going to be underneath the porch, so no one's ever going to see this. But I kind of just want to uh, seal it a bit uh, against the elements. And then I'll flip it over and do the finished side.
this as well, just for good measure. But one thing to point out is when you do paint the sides, and you're, you're going to be flipping over to paint the other side, just make sure that you wipe off all the uh, drips that come to the other side because once that dries, that's going to really mess up your finished side. So I'm about to do the second finished coat on the front side of um, the window for the porch apron. Um, before I do that, I just want to give it a quick sand just to smooth out some areas that didn't look super smooth. And right here, the patch, the patch that I made um, with the water putty looks great. I mean, sorry for all the traffic noise. Um, once once this is painted and in place, you will not notice that patch. So I'm really happy with the, with the way that turned out. So I am outside of the property and I wanted to show you the porch that's being rebuilt. Um, I forgot to get the footage before it got rebuilt, but I will uh, put in a few before photos that I have so you can see what it looked like, but um, let me just spin this around and show you what's happening. So here is what's being done. Oh, I guess, here we go. It's a work in progress. Uh, let me go up the steps actually. So this is where uh, he has started doing the work um, the carpenter and he's replaced all the floorboards and started with the fascia but he's still got to do uh, some more with the structure down here the piers have to be rebuilt and um, this space here in the front is where I would like to put that window that I bought Hopefully that would look nice. Um, the column was taken down, so we just have a support holding that up. And here you can see a little bit of the old boards. And in this hole here, you can see where he sistered the floor joists um, just to re-support everything before putting the new boards on. So anyway, it looks really nice, but there's a long, long way to go. Obviously the handrail is off. So guess what? The carpenter finished the porch. So let me give you a quick look. So the railing is back on and the column is back in place. And we have the base rebuilt here. And let's come around down the steps. And here's the window. So it still has to be painted, um, but and the whole porch actually has to be painted, but I'm, I'm really excited about uh, how it's coming out.